<laughs> oh, the relief you're gonna have whenever you realize this is not a test place update video. Because yes, you read the title correctly, there is a gun in Phantom Forces that you can make that always does the same damage no matter what. And surprisingly, uh, no, it's not the one that I'm holding right now, because the title of the gun that will always do the same damage no matter what is going to the MP510. A gun that probably not too many of you have actually used before, I've probably seen less than five actually used ever. But as you can see, we have a maximum of 24 damage and a minimum of 24 damage. I I'm just as confused as you are. I mean, why would you want a gun that is always a five shot no matter what? It just sounds painful to me. Me. Typically how SMGs work is, uh, to give an example, here's an MP5, very similar to the MP510. However, the damage is 34 up close, so it's a 3 shot up close, and a 6 shot at a distance, so better close up damage. So why? Well first, let's answer how. So first, basically there is a conversion for this called 40 Smith & Wesson, and basically it does exactly what the description says, where it's less recoil for better accuracy. You also get a higher headshot multiplier at 1.6 compared to 1.4 without it, and besides a slower muzzle velocity, that's it, that's what you get. Now if you just use the normal 40 Smith & Wesson by itself, you get 32 maximum damage and 24 minimum but for some reason adding the long barrel specifically reduces the damage heavily <sighs> okay all right all right that, that's painful so i think with this build we've officially made one of the worst smgs in this whole game i mean regardless whether you're hitting your shots or not it's always going to take five shots anywhere on the map unless of course you hit headshots in which case that'll be a little bit different with the headshot multiplier you're technically doing 38 damage but i mean regardless anywhere on the map that's going to take at least two headshots and one body shot who's gonna want to do all that just to get one kill for a gun that frankly, I mean, the accuracy on this or the recoil, I should say, is uh, is not that good, to say the least. Personally, I'm not somebody who wants to use a long barrel on this game regardless of the gun that I'm using. Personally, I just never feel like it's worth ever giving up the availability of like a compensator or a suppressor just to have a longer barrel with like the tiniest increase in muzzle velocity. It's just, I, I don't see it worth it. Man, I can just, I can feel every individual hit marker and it's painful that close. And definitely 96 damage is an assist thing that you're going to be seeing a lot using this. Amazing. And honestly, I've seen 96 assist enough to where I can say that it is, uh, it is, it is beyond annoying to see it at this point. <laughs> yep, every hit marker. Every single little hit marker. Now, what if I go ahead? Let's just say that I want to keep on the 40 Smith & Wesson, but I take off the long barrel. 32 point blank damage, still 24 minimum, but we're just getting like, if you look at the muzzle velocity there, like the tiniest little change. And let's say instead that I want to go for like a compensator or something, right? Now look at our recoil. Looks much, much more stable. It's also now a four shot instead of a five shot, but because it has so much higher damage, if somebody even has a smidge of damage taken, it's just going to be a three shot. Yeah, it, it feels so much more fluid. <laughs> I don't know how neither of them heard me, but all right. And yeah, it's just easy. And again, you still have that minimum of 24 damage, which is pretty good at, at range. A five shot for an SMG is not bad for sniping. I mean, you know, it's sniping in quotes. Do they not know that I'm here? I, I, I literally ran up the stairs. All right. It just, it, like, honestly, it feels so much more fluid to use than having to do 24 damage at all times. Like... <laughs> I don't understand. I don't even know if it was like an intentional thing or if it was just like a balancing thing where it lowered the damage and then the minimum was there. It's entirely possible that it's it's just coincidence that it lines up like that. But it, oh god, dude. It just feels so much better to have that higher maximum damage for CQC. It's not even just CQC, like your damage only starts dropping off after about 35 studs, which is I mean it's it's relatively close. I'm doing 23 and 4 so far at the top of my scoreboard. Make that 24 and 5. Which, I mean, you know, 5kd I think is pretty decent, right? Especially for something that I never normally use anyway. God, dude, the fact that I can literally just snipe with this too. Having a compensator is so much better than that long barrel. It's not even funny. Dude, I, you can't stop me. <laughs> 31 and 5. This went from this went from me, like, trash-talking a garbage, like, setup. And now I'm just having so much fun with this. I think I'm very rapidly finding my new favorite thing to use for the next five and a half seconds before I get bored of it. But let's step back a second though, because we're talking about the long barrel here. And if we go back to this, you can see it looks like we have a lot more side to side from the barrel there. So getting range kills is going to be just a little bit more difficult. Oh, well, SMGs aren't made for range, Steven. You should know that. Okay, but with in this case, it doesn't matter if it's at range or not because it's always 24 damage. Why? Who made this choice? Yeah, I mean, the assists are just racking up. And the KD drops a few more. Another 96 assists, let's go. A very common theme that is whenever you're using this. Oh god, I just, I can't. Well, this is in the main game. This is something that you can literally use right now. So if you'd like to, you know, I guess feel free to. It's going to be pretty expensive in terms of kills or uh, credits, rather. But uh, yeah. Ooh, that is a wiggly boy right there. Well, 47 kills, 16 deaths, 2.94 KD. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> 
that's the most kills I've gotten in a while, I guess. I mean, considering that this is especially something that I don't use, so. Ooh, melee. Nice. But yeah, I mean, it's it's interesting, that's for sure. 24 maximum, 24 minimum. I just, I can't wrap my head around that. That is, well, I mean, I can. It's a very simple concept. I, I have, I do have a little bit of functioning brain cells in my head. Contrary to what some of you may believe, of course. But yeah, it's a very pointless combination of attachments, and I, uh, I just wouldn't use it. Though I am curious, actually. So with neither barrel nor uh, con ammo conversion thing, 35 maximum damage. That's, that's good. That, that's, oh, that's actually really good. <laughs> why, why do people bottleneck their weapons just for 0.01 better recoil percent? I'll never understand. Mm, somebody's throwing cat. <laughs> Money battle. <laughs> you think that's what rich kids do? <laughs> My free rich kid health care. <laughs> hey, doctor. <laughs>